in some way, I believe that people don't dream enough. They get so caught up in, in doing things, they forget to think, what could I do? And the fact that it's an observatory, when I saw that, that to me was an obvious thing to do. So I agreed to support it. The observatory, first of all, is a kind of symbol, I think, of what we can do even uh, you know, in this rural area uh, of, of Alberta. At the same time, uh, the observatory, uh, I think, is also a symbol of the imagination. Welcome to the Heshi Observatory, a facility of the Augustana campus the Liberal Arts and Science campus of the University of Alberta. Several years ago, we realized that one of the seven Liberal Arts disciplines, astronomy, was not represented on our campus. So, a vision emerged to construct an astronomical observatory. Fast forward, I'm now standing in the new dome of the observatory, housing this main telescope. This beautiful telescope is a what's called a corrected doll Kirkham design and it's just got superior optics so you can really see things sharply. It's got a 17 inch opening and so the light collecting power is about twice what it is for our portable telescope and it basically collects about 5,000 times more light than can come into your eye and that's why you can see those dim objects and far away objects really well with it. If you had a direct line to cameras and the atmosphere was good and you were looking at a person through this telescope 30 kilometers away, you could actually see their two eyes as separate. The whole thing is operated by computer. So we have uh, our program here uh, where you can see the entire sky and you can just basically click on where you want to go and ask the telescope to slew to that position. We can take our computer downstairs to the classroom and just uh, basically control the telescope in comfort down there and uh, see what the telescope is seeing through the cameras. And ultimately, we'd be able to control this telescope from cameras as well. I'm standing here on the observation deck, which is eight meters above the ground, and it's perfect. It has a clear view of the area, perfect for viewing wildlife with binoculars, or looking at the sky, orienting yourself, or using the observatory's portable telescope. This is our Celestron Edge HD. It has an 11-inch diameter. This telescope is mostly used for astrophotography, as it has a sturdy tripod, a motorized equatorial mount, excellent optics and an auto guider, all which are necessary to make sure that the imaging is good when we are doing astrophotography. We're in a dark sky preserve and it extends all the way from Miquelon all the way up to Elk Island and within the whole Beaver Hills and it's a tremendous opportunity for having places on the planet where we have really worked hard to try to reduce light pollution. And so the International Dark Sky Association established a dark sky preserve here in Miquelon as well as throughout the Beaver Hills. With that, we have areas where we can have the opportunity to view the stars and the solar systems in one of the better areas for low light pollution. It provides great and unique research opportunities for our students at Augustana campus as well as for other students of the University of Alberta in Edmonton. We would like to partner with stakeholders and people from all walks of life across the province to bring them here and stay overnight and enjoy this fantastic telescope. And so we're not just looking at the academic community, we're looking at the local community and the broader community within Alberta and beyond. So it's a really exciting place that's bringing together all sorts of wonderful minds and interests into one location. Donors uh, give me a glimpse into the future. We will be inviting every single student across Alberta, be they at kindergarten level or grade 12 or at the university level, 
to come uh, and, and just uh, just experience uh, the beauties of, the, of uh, Mickleton Lake. This is a beautiful area, but also the mysteries of the universe and all the, the secrets uh, of, of, that the night sky holds. Students will basically ask really fundamental questions about the nature of our solar system, the nature of our galaxy, and what our universe is like. I think the basic questions that they're asking are the kind of questions you can ask about anything. These might be a bit more exotic, but uh, you know, any area in life, you uh, need to learn how to ask questions and try to figure out how you can answer those questions, what information you can use. Funding can really improve education. My advice to any student would be to stop and, <clears throat> and make more time just to think about things. And, and looking at the stars or looking at the sky uh, should be open a door to doing that. So think more. <laughs>